brilliant. Okay, so just as this, um, just as this episode starts, we are faced with a raid. So what can happen is you can choose to work with game or um, colonists um, by so that they're running away from pirates or whatever. Um, which in this case she is, so it takes more boxing in. I need to squirt the bush, of course, you from the by. She's been chased out by pirates from Sledgehammer Wasps, which are another faction who despises. So you get two types of factions. You get factions who are friendly and factions who are hostile. Um, friendly factions will trade, hostile factions will raid. Um, the Sledgehammer Wasps are not a friendly faction, so she begs for safety and offers to join the colony. Um, she's 45 years old biologically, which means like obviously she's playing crimes, so she should be like two something years old. So be warned if you accept you'll have to fight on pirates. Well luckily everybody in my colony has got some decent guns on them. So I think we can do this. Because this guy dropped a ranged weapon, Squirt can pick it up. Um, we can also strip all these guys of their clothes. Um, where's the oh, there he is. Um, and allow them to put the weapons into storage. So when traders come, I can sell the weapons, sell the clothes, and also Squirt, I believe, is absolutely just butt naked. Um, naked, yeah, so he's butt naked, so he needs to, um, he needs to get some clothes, doesn't he? Oh, actually, um, I mean she, Anita, that was it, Squirt, Anita. Hmm. Right, so, prioritise stripping her off, so then she can at least put the coat on. Mm. How the bloody hell did that? And also wear that as well. So at least now I click on your needs. You are not naked, which is good. A good place to start, right? Which means I've got to build. Another wall, another mm. place for them to live. Which I've got to bash it down here. Furniture. We're gonna get giggles. This is in, yes, it's full of carcasses. I'm guessing it. Uh, yeah, the carcasses from the people who decided it would be a great idea to raid us, which is the food. It was not such a great idea to get away on a big and deep as well. Construction middle got 
hunting, we don't need yet because we've got cows that make milk. Cargo pods. So yeah, periodically these cargo pods will drop down, which like give us stuff. So we've got some flake, which is what is flake? Is the flake substance can be smoked, induced, or oh, which can be smoked to induce a short, but powerful um, euphoric state. It's cheap to produce and exceptionally addictive, so we're not going to pick that up. Because the last thing we want is to get our colonists addicted to something. You know, not, not talking about anybody in particular, Hubert. <clears throat> you have an addictive mob. Um, furniture. Get a lamp in here as well. That place. Nope. Furniture, standing lamb, uh, and uh, wonderful. Oh, brilliant. Plenty of days have passed now, so these strawberries have grown, so they can be put inside here and they will be frozen. So, if you look at the cursor here, when that's in this area, it tells us down here what temperature it is. So, there it says outdoors. Um, 20 degrees, and if I plonk it here, it will say indoors 3 degrees, 2 degrees, 3 degrees, 2 degrees. So it's target temperature is 0 degrees, but obviously, because the temperature outside being 27, it has to work harder to manage that. And humor is gone because, uh, oh my god, it um, is also degrees. Ah, right. Steel and quite a lot for medical supplies for the time being. 
We're just gonna pop some normal beds in there and then turn them into hospital beds. Mm. And we have a raid. So raids don't just have to happen when they bring people in, they can happen normally. So I can check this guy's gear. So he's got a great bow and he's got some synthread tribal wear. So he's armed and he's clothed. So what we're going to do is come in that direction. So if we stick our guys here, Tony's going to start shooting and he's going to start shooting back. Giggles took a shot. I was going to say the only person who actually had effective range there was um, which means Tony could do with getting to work on this bed new materials, it's only wood why you now have no wood? Lou's no longer incapable of walking which is good Giggles and Huber have all been hit. So yeah, raids can end the colony very quickly. What have you guys all got? Charge rifle, charge rifle, charge rifle. What's this? Now NG or something. Incendiary launcher. Um, nah. One day, one now. Nah. Check where this infection is on Leo. Health. Uh, infection in a torso and her arm. And it has been. Well, I think this is the sign that says it has been treated, so it should be okay. Yeah, because Giggles is going around treating everyone. You know, ideally, it should be Tony doing all that. But um, as long as somebody's doing it, I'm not complaining. The person who's in the medical bed. Um, we're going to get some batteries as well. Actually, no, no, bad James, not yet. We need to get this built first. Everyone's so busy trying to keep everyone alive. So as you can see, these could be really bloody detrimental. They can ruin your day really easily. These raids, these bloody raids. Um, I guess there's nothing else to do yet until everyone's uh, better. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna end this episode here and episode three of RimWorld here. Uh, can be part of the playlist. Um, if you haven't seen the other episodes, I would really recommend that you uh, go back and have a look at them. I've enjoyed making them, I hope you enjoy watching them. Um, and yeah, we just wait for them to use back up to health, and, uh, and then we'll start episode 4. Goodbye!